defense after a while. And the Raiders' defense has been on the field an awful lot this year. Leahan bobbles the snap from center. Then it's knocked away by Merrill. Loose football. The Raiders have it at the 18-yard line. It's covered by Anthony Smith. The fourth fumble in two games for Wheelahan. He has lost two. And the Raiders, I think, may have gotten a break on that play because Brian still was in the lineup, and he was going toward the line of scrimmage. He was illegally in motion, and nobody saw formation Harvey Williams the tail of the eye behind Leonard Whitley is right Dudley is left on the line again the Williams up the middle and he's in the end zone for a Raider touchdown the Raiders early in the second quarter have a lead of 13 to 7 in San Diego Got it. third and 11 George changing the play here comes the blitz and loads in a hurry Jet has it at the 24 Right in front of Paul Bradford. Unbelievable play. Boy, Jeff George can make so many different throws from so many different positions with his body. Junior Seau and a whole lot of friends is coming from the outside right side. Seau just comes running free. Ricky Dudley doesn't stand a chance of making a play on him. George just goes back. Marco Coleman was already there. Jet doing a real good job of coming back and making a play on the ball. Jet is having himself one heck of a year. Another first down for the Raiders. Kaufman on the toss sweep. Cuts it back. Still on his feet. Harrison pushed him out of bounds at the 10. He already has more rushing Third yards. Down and goal. On the San Diego nine-yard line. Jet goes wide left. Same formation. Brown right. Dudley is... On the right side of the line, Williams, and now Napoleon Kaufman is back in, split behind George. George looking right, now going to look left. He loops one out there, it is caught for a touchdown by James Jett as he beat the rookie Paul Bradford again. Paul on yard line, and this was a good mixture of Jeff George's passing. He had Ricky Dudley on a 20-yarder, and Napoleon Kaufman's running. He had a 5-yarder and a 1-yarder. He had a 9-yarder on that run, on that uh, drive, which gave him exactly 1,000 for the year. But the big play was a catch and run by Napoleon Kaufman, a 33-yarder. Running back position, so he's, he feels like he's proven his durability. Just give him the ball and let him go. Yeah, he said we played against some pretty big people up there. I never had a problem. Third and four. Play action by George. What a throw. Kaufman. Look at the speed to the 30. Jeff George with a dart to Napoleon Kaufman. Gives Kaufman a breather. George for Williams. He got it at the two. Harrison was right there, but what a beautifully thrown ball. We've seen Jeff George have to throw the ball hard. We've seen him throw it on the run. Now, this was a case where he just hangs it up and puts some touch on it. The air coming in underneath, lays it out front. Harvey Williams just reaches out to make the play. Does a good job of gaining control, too. Wide right, Cunningham actually lines up on the left. Dudley goes in motion, and then he hangs on the right side. They give it to Harvey Williams, trying to dive in, and he's into the end zone for a Raider touchdown for Harvey Williams, his third touchdown of the night. Two rushing and one receiving. That's not balanced. He needed one more receiving, and very shortly after that, in fact, on the very next Raider drive, Harvey Williams would get into the end zone for a fourth time. High formation, Harvey Williams in front of Napoleon Kaufman. Jet is left, Tim Brown is right. Ricky Dudley on the right side of the line. It's a play action pass, George throws. It is caught by Harvey Williams, first down, 20. And he's inside the 15, the 10, the five. Harvey Williams has scored four touchdowns tonight. Four, two running and 
two catching and running. And he ties a Raiders single game record. Now three guys uh, have all got a piece of it. Art Powell in the 1960s. And you threw a few of those to him, huh? I threw every one. All him. four? All four. Is that the game you threw six? That's it. Wow. You that were waiting long. all year for me to bring that Not up. Not too many there. people still remember that. Yeah. <laughs> And a uh, bunch of reporters as we speak, but Jeff George said this was a huge game for the Raiders in light of the way they had played the last few weeks. Uh, um, you know, I, I think we, we put ourselves in, in some bad situations uh, the last couple of weeks, and uh, um, this week, uh, you know, we just wanted to come out and, and put fear back in our offense and not worry about what, what they do to us defensively and, and, and adjust to some things. So, a yard, yard and a half. <laughs> so, uh, uh, <laughs> a little bit of Jeff George, a happy Jeff George. A lot of smiles, a lot of laughs along the sidelines, something we haven't seen of late. And, uh, boy, Lincoln Kennedy and uh, Daryl Russell, two of the happiest guys here because they had a load of fans and friends from their San Diego days. As you know, uh, Russell uh, grew up here in uh, the Southland. And, and of course, uh, uh, Lincoln Kennedy went to high school down here. So they both uh, were uh, – Lincoln was really showing a lot of emotion along the sidelines. Usually he's – Kind of a low-key guy. He saves it for the field, but he was coming off the sidelines, waving his arms, and almost with a college-like enthusiasm. I was kind of kidding Harvey, uh, or uh, Harvey Williams about that a little bit earlier in the group interview, and I said, Harvey, I've never seen so much emotion. He goes, well, what do you mean? We're not an emotional team. And, and he said, well, you know, I said, well, you know, a little bit more, though, tonight than uh, normal, which is uh, nice to see. And I think uh, that kind of gave, uh, they fed off some early, early uh, success guys uh, that really kind of gave them that little energy. Uh, Greg Beaker was telling me the same thing. Okay, Bruce. If you can grab Russell Maryland, we'd love to chat with him. Yeah, I'll and see I'll, what I can do. I'll run through some final numbers here. Jeff George was 16 of 34 tonight, 226 yards. He threw three touchdown passes, bringing his total to 23 on the year. And he also threw a couple of interceptions. James Jett, four catches, 58 yards, and a score. Tim Brown, four for 30. Harvey Williams, three catches, 59 yards, and two scores. He also ran for two. Napoleon Kaufman goes over 1,000 yards on the season. Uh, and he had 109 yards in total tonight on 20 carries, five and a half at the top of the long of 40. And for San Diego, Craig Wheelahan hit 14 of 26 for 202. He did not throw a touchdown, was not intercepted in the game. Eric Metcalf was their top receiver with four. And Gary Brown, before leaving with an injury, ran for 86 yards on 21 carries, an average of 4.1.